Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, just a little update on a uh, had a cameo neck. Uh, I didn't videotape anything because uh, I didn't want to look like an idiot trying to do something that I never did before. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, I did put new frets on it on the guitar. Uh, it, it was. Uh, pretty rough getting him out so I did a little little chip in but I filled him in and did the best that I could and hopefully it uh it works the only thing I'm waiting for in the mail is my uh crowning tool so I could uh Get this stuff going. But I still have some little things to do. Uh, yeah. Got some tweaking to do on this stuff. But, and I gave it a nice, nice little light sand. And uh, so hopefully uh, it works. Never did it before, so that's part of uh, the experience, like working on a car. You know, you give money to somebody to work on your car, but it's, it's a challenge. And, you know, I mean, I could always go out and get another neck. That's not even an issue. Or just spend money and have uh, somebody else redo it. Uh which would probably be about two hundred and fifty dollars. I think it all was pretty much nothing, and all I put into it was about fifty, fifty bucks. But it's the stuff that I money I put in, I'm going to use on other projects. So it's really not you know files and whatnot. Uh, until I get my uh, leveler, I picked this up for a dollar. You know, I measured it. Angled it to make sure it was straight, but dollar, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> I'll use it for the other things around. So, I mean, I have a bigger one, but this is pretty good for what I need. Uh, I'll end up getting in the mail too. It was a threat. protectors you know you just slide this on top in between your fret and it protects the wood it's two different sizes i mean fortunately like i said any music place around here everything has to get wood even guitar set go there they have nothing so you have to order it which is a real pain in the ass when you want to go there and it takes them a week whatever to even get the parts for what you need I mean, Amazon I would have preferred the ones with the strap so it holds it down but not a biggie I could always put little holes on each end of that and uh make something up but it's really not like I said I mean everybody knows how to use them but for those who never Seeing it working on your prints, you just take that and yeah, put it right on it, and that protects when you're filing. So it's a good little investment, it's easier than taping every little thing. But so, like I said, it's a little investment added to my little cool collection. So, I went up, got that, and the frets I did get. I mean, I got these like I ordered them. Let's say Monday, I ordered them Thursday morning, and I got these Friday afternoon. I got them. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty quick company. The uh, CB Giddy Credit for Supply. I mean, it was like $11 for <clears throat> uh, new frets. And then you got a, this is a medium. 
I was going with medium because I thought that was medium. That was probably jumbo on there. It's really not a big deal. There's six, you get <clears throat> six feet total and you get eight inch uh, section. So, I mean, I did that and I still have leftover. So, if I need to repair something on that, I could do it. I think I'm going to pick up jumbo. Like I said, two days to get this. Set. You know, you can get the flat or you get the the arch. So I went with the arch a little bit. Way I can figure it out. So I got that in the mail. It's a good company to get stuff from, especially if you're making like cigar box, cigar box guitars and stuff like that. And I got my fret puller, which for the money, uh. I mean, I had this, I bought at Harbor Freight for, I think it was a dollar. So a little bit bigger, the one that uh, amplified parts, but it's pretty much the same concept, except I think they might f file down here to very thin, so it actually slides under the fret when you're pulling them. Compared to this, which is just grabs the top of the fret, so you could probably see the uh, see the difference if you can compared to that. So it's a little bit fatter, and this is just cut to fit under the fret, so it's easy. I'm sure if you got one of these, you could probably file it down in there to make it thin to grab it. So, I don't know. I was a little disappointed on this, to be honest with you. Because for the money, I mean, it was like six bucks, whatever it was. It's just the point that, you know, I, whatever, just... Just throwing it out there. So then I picked up a uh, from my Dremel two hundred and seventy six uh, accessory kit that I got. You know, little handle and you can mount it onto the wall if you really wanted to. Slides off. Open sesame. That's got all. You know, it's got. Compound polishing. I mean, it's got the, the diamond bits. But if you want to it, do whatever you need, it's got little drill bits, you know, especially when you're working on guitars. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, your discs, your sanders, uh, yeah, polishing, a little different, uh, your Buffing wheels and whatever the hell these are. I have no idea. Can't even get them out. Ugh. Well, this looks it's sandpaper, so it's got to be, does something. But, but yeah, it's got all the, you know, all rubber. Polish and stuff, but if you have a Dremel, uh, I think, uh, yeah, for your sanding, it's a uh, encryption. Just put it on there. Uh, your little adapters, I guess, for, uh, sorry, for different size Dremels, I'm assuming. Don't assume. Uh, yeah, so it's a good little uh, thing if you look into. I mean, you could use it on your guitars, tweaking, adding things, cleaning, or whatever you need to do. But uh, I think it's a good little uh, thing to have. And you get, price you get more than that. Shouldn't have did that. You get your little. Uh, 
Well, sanding, you get enough sanding discs in this just well below. That's what that peels off back to, to this. And then you get yourself a little uh, little sander. Nifty. But you I mean I mean you get a get a shit look. Considering the uh Stacking, yeah, they had little, but yeah, no, that's uh, it's definitely worth it. So, that's gonna help me out in the long run. But it is a good little uh, feature to have, little uh, gadgets if you have a Dremel and whatnot, it gives you everything in the back on that stuff. But this was. $24 all the freight, you know, not the greatest stuff, but when it comes to stuff like this that, you know, you, you want to be tedious with or cleaning and anything, but uh, I would uh, check it out and try it. I mean, I'm going to try it. I already used it on a couple of, one of my other guitars, do a little cleaning and it at work. I mean, this compound, I don't know. It's pretty th thick Ugh. compound, polishing compound. You can't even squeeze it at very, very pasty. So I don't know how that's supposed to come out. Let's do it. I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet. So. Ugh. But. It is a beautiful day on Long Island, <clears throat> so I think I'm supposed to get some snow showers tomorrow. Hopefully, it's just I don't want snow. So is everybody else. But uh, every year it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. I mean, a half hour drive two years ago to get no well, forty five minute drive from work to home five hours. It was like ridiculous. By the time I got home, I ate it was the most time to get up and go to work. Again, which I didn't do because it was you know, pay money on uh, villages and taxes to take care of this stuff, but three days later you're still snowed in because they, yeah, whatever. Just ran. But, uh, did hit the 50s today, so that's uh that's a plus. Snow starting to melt, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. I might videotape something later, but for now, we got nothing going on. So have a great day. If you like the video, subscribe. If not, don't. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Our comments are all welcome, bad or good, positive or negative. I really don't care. But uh, talk to you later.